this video, I'm going to show you how to beat man-to-man -man coverage with no abilities on your receivers. Man-to-man -man has dominated the early do or meta of Madden 23, and I want to give you kind of a quick tip today about how you can go about beating man-to-man -man coverage with your routes, and what are some really good routes to look for maybe in your playbook. We're going to be showing it to you out of the Trips tight end in the Detroit Lions offensive playbook today. If you are a Patreon member, you know that this is, in my opinion, the best offense in Madden 23. We released our Trips tight end offensive of ebook um, earlier this week. If you want to become a Patreon member, you can get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks for just 10 bucks. There'll be a link for you to be able to sign up for that in the description. All right, guys, so I wanted to kind of walk you through uh, a way to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Obviously, that's the meta right now, but I also wanted to show it against one of the better blitzes in the game, uh, which is the LB Blitz Zero out of the Nickel 335. So uh, I'm going to uh, go through and just show you a couple things with the playbooks. So I did a video on how to pick this blitz up and broke this down as well for you guys earlier this season. But my personal opinion is the best person, the best way to consistently pick up this pressure is to call a play action play and slide your line. You can either slide your line to uh, away from the running back or you can slide your line toward the running back, okay? Um, so what we wanna really look for is identify the play action plays and then look for routes that get separation against man-to-man -man coverage. So for example, this play PA shot post is a great play because the S post will oftentimes get separation against man and the crosser will oftentimes get separation against man. Now the will used to, it doesn't in this game, but it did used to do that. Let's look at some other plays in the playbook. Another play that I really like in this playbook is X-Spot because we have this nice little corner route. It's a unique corner route in this play. We have this out route that we're gonna get into in a middle in a minute, but this out route from the tight end is also a really effective man beating route. So those are two man beating routes in one play. And then we can build man meeting, man, man to man beating routes off of this play with our hot route. So that's another play that we might consider um, using. Um, verticals is really good as well because you have this sharp cutting corner up for the tight end. You also have this nice little inverted crosser from the number three receiver. So that could be a, a, a play of, uh, of interest. But the play that I want to focus on for the remainder of the video today, and, and really maybe two plays, maybe I'll give you two specific setups uh, that I really like against man-to-man, -man, but PA slot corner. And the reason is because what you're looking for when you're beating man-to-man -man is you're looking for routes that cut sharp. And what you get from PA slot corner is this short, sharp cutting post route that in my opinion is the best man beater in Madden 23. So we have this sharp cutting post route and we have play action blocking so that we can have the best pass protection possible at our fingertips. Not only do we have that in this formation, but we also have PA counter go, another great play. You see we have this nice little sharp cutting crossing route. We have those two nice out routes on both sides. And then we have play action blockings. That's another great play. Um, I actually think PA counter go is the most versatile play in Madden 23. Um, and it's really the focal play of our trips tight end offensive ebook. Now, just for a uh, demonstration, per another route to look for, again, these sharp cutting routes, curl flat, great example. You've got a sharp cutting post. You've also got a sharp cutting angle route. So those are really good. And also drive post is really good as well. You've got a sharp cutting baby in route. You've got a sharp cutting post, a sharp cutting corner, and then you can kind of work around that. Um, inside cross, you've got a sharp cutting post. So posts, outs, corners, um, those are really what you're looking for. Now, before we get into the actual breakdown, I want to show you one other playbook and or whether one other formation. And we'll just go to wide trips week because um, I've really never ran this formation, <laughs> um, but let's look at it. So you see here wide corner. We've got a sharp cutting corner route. We've also got that option route to the running back. Those are some routes that are decent against man to man. Pivot routes are always really good against man to man. This little drag route from Jet 6 Drive is really good against man to man. Um, another route that we really like are again these rounded in routes or sharp cutting in routes. Those are always good against man to man. So those are some of the things to look for in your plays. Um, so we're going to come out in PA Counter Go because we can access everything uh, from this. But what we're going to do is we're going to first show you why this blitz is so good. And it's because they can get basically double edge pressure only sending five um, at your quarterback. So you see here, really, really good. Literally all you do is you pinch the linebackers and you contain. That's it. You don't even have to press this blitz. 
but you will see people press this blitz because it does give them a little bit better coverage and so i'm just going to imitate them usering over the middle with their user now again they are sending five so if we can pick the blitz up chances are we're going to have a decent ability to be able to dot it so my favorite setup against this play um, when I'm facing this online is PA slot corner because I know that this post route is one of the be better man beating routes in the game. And then we're going to um, slide our line to pick up the pressure. I like to also ID this opposite side corner. And then we're going to whip the circle receiver. That's a great man beating route. And then a, a route that I really have become started to really like that you can motion slant this guy, but you can also put him on a five, like a baby out route, a motioned over in route essentially is what we're going to do. But we'll use a slant for this uh, example. Now with the tight end, um, this corner route is decent if you smart route it and you have route running. If you don't have either one of those things, then my personal recommendation is to put him on a five yard out. Okay, but we're just going to get really simple, really short. And this is a great concept for beating man because of the fact that you have all of these quick reads and you see how good that post is at being able to beat man to man coverage. Now, because we can pick up the pressure, we're able to basically read the user with this play. So I'll show you here an example. Um, let's say that the user decides that he is going to guard the post route. I'm going to show you what the uh, motion slant does against man to man. So let's say that the user decides, hey, I'm going to lurk the post route. You're not going to be able to throw that. So what we're going to do is have another route to be able to beat it, like the whip, um, as well as the, you know, tight end out, as well as the slant. And so this is just a good way to break down man to man coverage. And let's see if we can get this slant open. You see, we're picking up the pressure consistently, able to get the ball out on that little slant route. Now, I do want to show you uh, one other setup that I really like right now uh, for man to man. It's out of PA counter go. And so what they're going to start doing whenever you start to show that you're able to beat their man to man coverage is they're going to start to play uh, a, an, an additional version of man to man coverage, which is basically this. They're going to use her over the middle and they're going to drop two curl flat zones um, across the formation. Well, what we're going to show you with this next setup here out of PA counter go is a great counter to that adjustment. So all we're going to do, literally all you do with this is we're still going to run our standard pass protection. So we're going to slide our line either to the left or the right. We're going to ID the corner on the trip side, and then we're going to motion Sammy Watkins over. We're going to put him on an in route. And when we snap him right about here, what it does for us is it creates this little read right there. And I can't, I seriously, it was, it is a really, really good route because it really works well with the spacing. It gets underneath like literally every zone in the game, at least from what I've seen. And it allows us to kind of force their user into kind of lurking underneath. And so when they have to start lurking underneath, then it's going to open up other things for our offense, which I'm about to show you. So uh, when they have to start respecting the fact that we can throw this little baby in route or little baby slant route, now we get into this deep crosser that can get pretty decent separation against man. Um, these out routes, please don't sleep on them. They're actually really good. And once we start to notice that they're once we start to notice that they are indeed dropping underneath to try to cover, you know, just different things like our out routes and stuff like that. That's where we, uh, it's a great time to go to a play like PA shot post where we have a pretty decent chance uh, with this concept to be able to get over the top. And again, we can just use something as simple as a, you know, motion over in route to kind of mess with the man coverage. We're going to kind of give ourselves some extra protection. But what you'll see is this crosser and this post can kind of work together to beat man to man. But anyways, guys, that is how I like to beat man the man meta right now. Um, I will say that there are we also released a full bunch ebook to our Patreon members with a really nice press man beater one play touchdown out of that. So if you want to check all of that stuff out, remember the Patreon members get everything. So they get all of my ebooks. And it's only $10 to sign up. So if you haven't signed up for the Patreon yet, I would really encourage you to get in there. We've already dropped five offensive and defensive ebooks. We've also dropped a current gen ebook and a complete guide to blitzing in Madden 23, where we teach you how to blitz out of every formation in the game so that you could run the formation that you want to run to be successful. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to become a Patreon member, head down to the description below and click the link to sign up.